about tracking Calendly conversions in Google Ads, Google Analytics, Metapixel, and more. Okay, here we have a website and we have the Calendly installed inside it. So here is the first kind of important problem, challenge, something that the other tutorials forgot to mention, which is going to totally mess up all your conversion tracking. It basically is not going to work unless you do it like what I'm about to show you. So the first thing to understand is here we have our website, our demo website, now on Squarespace. So inside our website, we have the Calendly iframe. So what is an iframe? It's a basically a window to another website. And this is something that must be understood. It's not part of your website. It's a window to another website. And here we can see that it's a window to calendly.com slash code and tonic slash book a meeting, blah, 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 blah. So we can actually grab this URL, go to a new tab and go to this window. And it looks exactly the same. So why is this important? Well, the problem is that when you send any conversion information from Calendly, you're sending it from this website, whether it's Google Ads, Google Analytics, whatever, Metapixel. So when someone clicks on your Google Ads ad or your Facebook ad, they don't go to Calendly.com. This is not what's in your Google ad as the URL. In your Google ad, this your website is the URL. So your website knows about the Google ads click. It knows about the campaign. It knows about everything that the user is doing when they're navigating the website and browsing, etc. But Calendly has no idea. So even though it's inside your website, your website doesn't tell uh, the Calendly iframe that, hey, by the way, this visitor came in through a Google Ads click. It simply doesn't tell that information. So when you send the conversion information from Calendly, it's kind of separate, kind of pointless, useless data. This is a very complex thing and I'm still, after a year of doing these conversion trackings, I'm still uh, digging deeper and deeper into it. But this is what all my clients tell me. This is how the code works. This is my conclusion. So how do we solve this? Well, we can listen for information, for messages that the Calendly sends. So Calendly is actually really smart. It's telling us, it's telling our website, the parent website, the website where the Acuity iframe is embedded inside everything that's happening inside it. So when we click on this, it's actually sending us messages, but we are not hearing those messages. So we need a code and here's just a demo code. Something like this would be added within Google Tag Manager. So we are listening to these messages, but in the demo, I'm just gonna add it to the uh, JavaScript console here. Great, so let's see if we can now spot the messages that um, Calendly is sending. Hmm, interesting. We're hearing message events. Now, maybe we'll make a test booking. And now we are again getting those uh, messages. So the messages that we are getting uh, from Calendly, mm, okay, I may need to edit the code a little bit. Uh, but the messages are gonna include all this information, all this conver conversion information. And now that we are listening to the messages from Acuity, we have the required information, the required data in our website to send the conversion information from the correct place, which is our website, not the Acuity, which 
again, doesn't know about the Google Ads click, doesn't know about your campaigns, doesn't know anything really. So now we listen for the data from Calendly, we have the data, and now we can send it from our website to Google Ads, and that way we will have the perfect conversion tracking setup. And also we can do the new Google Ads enhanced conversion setup, which has some user information, names, emails, etc., for even more accurate conversion tracking. All right, so to recap, Calendly is an iframe window to another website. That website doesn't know the required information to track conversions properly. So when you send the conversion from here, it's just not going to work. We must send it from your website. To be able to send it from our website, we must listen for the conversion information from the Acquity iframe, get it, use it, Google Tag Manager, send the conversion information, done. If you want help setting up your Calendly conversion trackings, then please be in touch. I do this all day, every day, and I'm pretty good at it. Thank you so much for watching.